Welcome back to the Antiques Blow Show. We're here with a stupid looking lady and her garbage. Tell me, where did you get the piece? Well, I was pregnant with my third illegitimate child and decided to go to garage sale. And so I felt my water breaking and I caught the little guy in this basin here. It was coated with embryonic fluid, so I felt bad and bought it for $100. It's from the 1700s and was used as a portable vomitorium. In this condition, it's worth about $12,000 or $17,000 in today's sucker money. That's great! Ah! I also once took a dump in it. Your piece is absolutely disgusting, as are you. Thanks for coming down to the Blow Show. I'm a moron, too, if that helps. Well, Buford's going out of town. I'll start the meth cooking. Forget that shit. I have a better idea than waiting to get the small amounts of money from toothless dick bags. We're having a yard sale. We can't make any money doing that. You're stupid. The good meth spot is over by the school. We'll sell Buford shit and tell him he got robbed. That's just a cover for the real plan. Follow me. Broke down in the driveway, there's beer cans in the yard. The toilet won't flush and you look like George Picard. The whores have ED, but they're practically free. This is the last place you'll ever see. Papito Street, Papito Street. You're no better than Papito Street. This is last toilet where you swim with the turds or drown. Here's where the magic is. So you want to huff paint or something? No, you dolt. This is the scheme. Every jackass now at garage sales is looking for old, valuable shit for cheap. So what? We don't have any old, valuable stuff. That's where you're wrong. We only need one perfect mark to scam. We sell them a fake antique and get rich. Old people are stupid like you and want to get a bargain on antique bullshit. Yeah, how do we get old antiques? We make them. Say what? Turn a seven into two, and that's all you gotta do. Turn an eight into a three, now it's valuable, you see. Cover it with soot and dirt, then you will increase its worth when it has that look of authenticity. People are some stupid chumps, buying bullshit from the dump. Vintage this and vintage that, pulling money out their twats. If they think the crap is old, then it's practically all sold. All we need is just one sucker and we're gold! Interesting. I think I get what you're talking about. Hmm, now I think I get the drift all about this antique grift. By the time they know their scam, no returns, the joke's on them. Their inner greed is our best tool to decashify some fool. Turn that seven lucky seven into two. Turn, Turn that, that seven, seven lucky seven, seven into two. Turn that seven lucky seven into two. What the fuck is all this stuff doing out here? Did the septic overflow again? Like I said last time, I am not cleaning that up. It'll stink less when it dries out. No, we're having a yard sale. A yard sale? <laughs> I was wondering why you were up before noon. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> we're foolishly going to sell a valuable antique. We just have to find the right chump. It's the perfect grift. Well, that is the stupidest fucking idea I've ever heard. If the yard is for sale, where will I park? The yard isn't for sale, dum-dum. Just the stuff in it. Oh, good. Doesn't feel right if my car isn't dripping oil in the grass. Just wait here and help any customers that come along. I have something I have to attend to. Uh, yeah, is this an estate sale? Is the owner of this house no longer here? I don't know, he's dead or something. We're just helping clean out his extra junk. I sometimes would see him in the yard, screaming at traffic. We always thought he was mentally challenged. Mentally challenged? Well, that's a little harsh. We prefer to use the term fucking retarded. Oh, yeah, that does sound better. 
Oh, yeah. Man, these chemical fumes are making me dizzy. Can we open a window or something? Fuck no. The buying public is filtering in, and there's several good rubes in the bunch. I just gotta reel one in. Rub dirt on that shit and age it. And when you're done with that shit, sign all those autographed baseballs. That's gotta be a hundred balls in that tub. I didn't ask you to count them. Just sign the goddamn things and make the names half-ass believable. Come on, Ricky fucking Tick. Thanks for coming out today on such a sad occasion. The estate sale of my saintly art dealer mother. She died as she lived, hoarding valuables for later sale. Well, I was in the market for antiques, I reckon. I don't want to pay too much. Oh, I really don't know what stuff is worth. I'm just trying to sell to cover my gas driving down here after the funeral. She didn't leave a will. Threw the body on the turnpike. Sad, sad day. But over here's something you might like. Now this here is what I'm talking about. It's been in the family as long as smallpox. A steal at $200. 1923. That does sound valuable. I'll give you $150. I'm a bit of a bargain hunter. I'm losing money on this, I'm sure, but sold. Now I suggest getting it out of here fast so you don't ruin the patina by looking at it too closely. Oh, this is gonna look good. <laughs> Sucker born every minute. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, would this be good for a... Uh, uh, Five dollars? What? Dumbasses. Does this talking dildo work? Not really. The only thing it ever said to me was warranty void. Pass. It's lost most of its flavor anyway. <laughs> okay, what else we got in this shithole? Hanging hand-like things. Genital things. Grasping like fingers touching us. Yes, we do have quite a collection of spiders in here, but the sale is outside. And you're not allowed in here. How did you get in here anyway? I never left. This is my womb. Want to see my malformed baby? He lives in the forms of my mouth. <gasps> Why did you throw that can of red paint at me? I have to ask you to leave. What? Leave the womb? Not without my ex. I earned that in my sanity hearing. Fine, whatever. Just get out. What's the rush skeletonized authority robot? We can have some fun before the rapture. I have something to show you. Yeah, baby, this fuck's on the house. Wait, what are you doing with that? <laughs> ah! Hey, Fuller. You having a yard sale, huh? Yeah, you got a lot of great stuff here, man. Uh, uh, a lot of this stuff looks like my stuff, though. Yeah, Buford shit wasn't enough. So I broke into your place for additional shit to sell. You mind getting lost? You're driving down interest here. Oh, oh yeah, okay, man, I'm sorry. All right, well, um, I guess I'll just peruse this box of records here and see if there's something I don't already have. Whatever, they're yours anyway. Just try to stay out of the way. Yeah, oh, okay, man. Hey, I, I noticed that you have my guitar over there. Uh, that was made from the actual outhouse used at Woodstock. My father gave it to me on his deathbed. Your dad is dead? No, he's fine. Thanks for asking, though. But that guitar, it's worth a lot of money. Really? Maybe I should set it aside, then. Um, w well, but can I buy it back? I doubt it. I don't think you could afford it. The uh, tantric surprise. The shock rah rah rahs. Mr. Skiffo live at the Kabuchicon. Moon Orbit Delta. Don't sell this shit-ass guitar. I stole it from Lewis. I'm gonna stash the money in here. The fuck does that mean? No selly guitar. Now quit being a stupid cunt. I see some more rubes drifting this way. I was gonna quit after the first one, but this is foolproof. I have to keep going. Sell whatever you can, however you can. Do 
These are all rip-off prices. $25 for a pair of work gloves? Why would I pay that? Because it comes with a hand job. Besides, it's for charity. Well, I do like helping the community. What charity is it for? Poor kids are some shit. Now get over here and unzip your pants, yank and squirt. <laughs> I've never seen such a thing. Stabby, stabby, die, die. Oh, God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> oh, the horror. It's choppy chop chop time. Cho <laughs> 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 Good afternoon, sir. May I interest you in something? Beaver. Harry Beaver. Local yard sale inspector, fraud division. We've received numerous complaints about this unauthorized estate sale. We have reason to believe somebody is selling fake collectibles. Holy shit! Is that illegal? Would they send an inspector if it wasn't? Well, as you can see, this sale is absolutely on the up and up. Is this really a crap of various? That is what the label says. Do you know the penalty for forging antiques? I'm a private seller, and these are typical yard sale items. This is outrageous. Well, I have to confiscate the lot. Now I really must protest of this trumped up crap arrest, speculation with no proof. I have tricked none of these goofs, sold as is as you can see, and without a guarantee, I have not changed any eights into a three. Shut your mouth, you stupid clown, or I'll run your ass downtown. You con artists make me sick, scamming half-wit lunatics. If it's bad as what I think, then I'll throw you in the clink with a felony of felony class B. Excuse me, I can cooperate this. Oh, God. Everything you say is true All the tentacles and goo Off to jail this guy should go Oh you're cute you wanna blow I'm a witness in this crime Even though I'm trapped in time It's a felony a felony class B It's a felony a felony class B It's a felony a felony class B Lewis! Where's Fuller? Buford's crazy mail-order bride is here. I was kind of suspicious when she grabbed my nuts with pliers and hit me over the head, but I knew who it was when she wouldn't fuck me. Oh, that's great. She's a real nice lady, man. She's dangerous. We have to warn people. You need to learn to relax, man. Like those people over there. They don't seem worried at all. Maybe you should try to bleed out of your head like them. It looks relaxing. Oh, fuck. Help me clean up these bodies. Well, that should do it. Next time, you will be charged with the full extent of the law. I'll be taking this lovely lady with me for a long, probing, questioning session. So long, suckers. Come on, lover. We have a date with disembowelments. Awesome. I love butt sex. <laughs> stabby, stabby, die, die! Hey, hey. Ah! Oh, God! That didn't work out at all. But at least I still have the money in the guitar. Actually, he took the guitar. No, man. He gave it right back to me. He says it smells like poop. It also sounded pretty bad, so I looked inside, and it had all this money in it. So I gave that to the inspector, but now it sounds great. You stupid bastard. You ruined all my hard work. Now what do we do? The yard is full of blood and trash. Now we need another way to make money. Well, I'll start the meth cooking. I just hope he didn't lose the good spot by the school. It's okay. At least we're not going to jail. <laughs> <laughs>